Hey, this is James with Understand Your Mac, and this is episode two of our iWeb Masterclass. And you may recall in our last tutorial that we discussed um, working with themes and Adobe's Cooler, how to customize the web page background and the browser background, and also how to add and edit photos. So in this tutorial, we're going to move forward from that and also kind of pull back from that a little bit because we want to talk about the iWeb interface and the inspector a little more. We're going to discuss Instant Alpha, how to add a Google Map, and like I promised in the last episode, how to borrow background images from other themes. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the welcome to my site a little bit. I've made a little graphic using um, BeLight's art text software. But we can't just delete this because if I click, um, you can see I've selected the field here, if I just hit the delete key on my keyboard, we lose that whole area. And I, I want to keep the space right here. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to triple click, which highlights that whole field, and delete the text while keeping this header area. And I'm just going to drag this in. And the reason we're going with live with excitement, oops, command Z, I'm going to undo that is because I own that domain name and by the time this project is done we're going to publish it to MobileMe using MobileMe's personal domain feature and um, we're going to attach this there we go we're going to attach the livewithexcitement.com domain name to it so you can see how to publish using a personal domain if you're a MobileMe user so what I'm going to do now is I'm go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and create another page. Go down here to the left. Click on Add Page here, and the Theme Chooser pops up. And in this case, um, I'm going to choose the About Me page. And we can see we have some placeholders here. And something I didn't discuss last time, I should have. Let's go back to Welcome. Also, we can well do it this way. We can discuss that. All this text in this photo um, is what we call placeholder text and a placeholder image, meaning that we can just drag an image into its place and it takes it. So if I click here, I can start typing right over the lorem ipsum text right here. Now, if, if you've heard of lorem ipsum and kind of wondered what it is, you can go to Wikipedia and look it up, and I'll actually have um, a link in the show notes at understandyourmac.com that will let you click to Wikipedia and you can get a sense because uh, lorem ipsum has been used for a couple hundred years now if I recall correctly it's really uh, really has an interesting history that people don't know about this isn't uh, a dead Latin language um, it doesn't mean anything at all but let's go back to about me and again we'll delete that and we can add our text over here And what I'm going to do is is these the photos that that I'm using are from my friend Bob Stender, who is a wonderful, wonderful photographer, and uh, he and his wife Becky run a, a portrait and wedding studio, and and Bob's done some photography for National Geographic. And while we're talking, you see how I'm just adjusting things here by dragging, because like I said before, iWeb is like silly putty. Um, Bob's done some shooting for National Geographic and just has some wonderful images he was nice enough to share with me for this. So I'm going to make an About Me page that kind of um, highlights some of Bob's pictures. And so the first thing I'm going to do is replace this image. I'm going to go down to the Media Inspector where it says Show Media Now. And we have a couple of choices here to work with. We have Audio, so if I click there I can grab something from my iTunes library. We have photos, which is what I've grabbed from before. Some of these are mine, some of these are Bob's. We also have some movies I can add to, which I don't have in this user. And then our widgets, which we looked at um, briefly last time. Well, maybe we didn't. I'm not positive. So we can go down through photos and find the image that we like the most. I'll go ahead and grab this one right here and drop it right in. That's a wonderful, wonderful shot. And before we go too much further, let's pull back and talk about, now that we've added that, that image in, 
let's talk about our interface. So we've gone through our media browser. Right down here at the lower left, we have where we can add a page just by clicking on that. We also can publish a page and something new, and we're going to discuss this later, um, but something new in iWeb09 is we can publish to our mobile me website and we can also publish to a third party like a small orange or something like that. We can also visit our website just by clicking a button now. Um, sometimes people were getting a little lost trying to, to find out where their website was. We can choose our theme dynamically, which is something that Apple introduced in the last version of iWeb and uh, has really been a lifesaver for a lot of people because before you had to remake your whole website to change the theme. We can use this to create a text box. If I click it, you can just barely see it. I'm going to click some text here and it's gray so you don't see it very well, but it's right there. And let's drag it out. It can be a little fussy. There we go. So that's our text box. iWeb, unfortunately, uh, the, the text boxes aren't as obvious as they are on pages. I'm hoping Apple's going to change that. So when you create your text box, just look to the center of the page. And um, usually what I tell clients is just start typing, even if it's something you're going to erase later, and that will help the text box stand out. I'm going to delete this text box. We also have shapes here, so we can add a shape if we want. So I can go ahead and click on that, and we can choose the shape colors. We can add, um, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on Inspector. Click on my Graphics Inspector right here, and I can make that shape blue if we want. Again, we can do a gradient, as we were looking at last time, rotate it around. Something new in this version of iWeb is the Advanced Gradient which lets me kind of control where the gradient's going to really get dark and light within the graphic itself. And of course we can play with the angle. We also have this setting that kind of puts a gradient in a ball and as we stretch this line out it um, makes it brighter towards the corners or makes it darker as we bring it in. Just kind of an interesting feature. I haven't seen anybody play with that too much yet. And I'm going to could also do an image fill. So let's choose that image we played with last time. And we can put it in there if we want. That's not something we really want to do, I don't think. But we can. And we can also do a tinted image fill, just as before. Let's just go with our image fill there. And we can stroke a line or take away a line if we want, or stroke a line, change the color of the stroke. So if we want to play around with that, we can. And we can also, by clicking here, make our stroke thicker or thinner. And change the type of line just as we saw with photos. We can do that with our graphic here. So I'm going to delete that by clicking the delete key, but you can see that's very powerful. And let's click on our placeholder image. And if we want, uh, we could unmask the image. That's the actual size of the image right there. But um, Apple has created what they call a mask, which resizes it for us and kind of does a little cropping. I'm going to do edit undo to show that. So that it fits with the size of our text column here. Pretty much. It's a little wide on this side, but it's pretty close. So we have a good balance on our website here. And by clicking on this, we can zoom in and do some editing. And if I double click on the photo, we can actually move the photo itself around within the mask here. So that doesn't look bad. I'm going to stay with that, I think. Just an amazing shot that Bob took.